got to thank the team. It was team effort, right? Team win is right. Powered by back-to-back fifth-inning homers, Daniel Carroll's solo shot over the General Atomic sign in left center, followed by Nick Franklin's blast towering toward the American Medical Response sign in deep right center, to the delight of Steeder Brothers Stadium fans of the High Desert Mavericks opening night. The Mavs' home opener had words. These round trippers aided and abetted the star of the game, starting pitcher James Gilhini. The 6'2", 200-pound, 23-year-old tossed six innings of shutout ball, fanning seven of the Lake Elsinore storm. The win pulled the Mavs to within a half game of first in the California League Southern Division standings. Gilhini gave up five hits and walked with two. The Mavericks opened the season going three and four on the road before treating 1,800 plus fans to the home opener triumph. James Jones followed Denny Almonte's second hitting triple with an RBI ground out to open the scoring. Shutout was preserved by Daniel Carroll's perfect throw to the plate from deep left to close out the third. Catcher Trevor Coleman applied the tag. El Monte's run proved to be all Delphini with Meade. The native of Johnston, Rhode Island, who attended North Carolina State, lowered his ERA to two. He had a no decision his first start. Last year, Gil Heaney was a 10-game winner for the Mavericks, posting a 3.55 ERA. The Mavs added an insurance run in the eighth. Dennis Raven pulled the ball into right behind Nick Franklin, sending Franklin to third. Vinny Catracalla's towering drive to deep center field allowed Franklin to tag and score easily. Maverick skipper knows his team's offense is potent. It was the bullpen and defense at fault in the four losses in the first seven games. I think that our team is going to, going to score a lot of runs. Uh, offensively, we're going to be fine. It was good, you know, to come back home and play three for four. Daniel Cooper came on with scoreless frames in the seventh and eighth. The 24-year-old from Long Beach and USC struck out a pair of storm hitters in the process. Jose Jimenez induced a game-ending double play to register the save. Jimenez is unscored upon in three innings of relief. As for the manager, the former major leaguer who played for the Mets, Padres, and Angels, he knows he has a good team that'll get better. Um, we have a chance, you know, to have a better record, but they said just the beginning of the season we're going to be fine, but the end of the season we're going to be real good. The offensive stars of the game, the 23-year-old Franklin registered the first hit of the night for the Mavs and followed his homer with his third hit of the game in the eighth. His preference as a switch hitter? Uh, I'd say, you know, right-handed, left-handed. You know, I like hitting both, both sides, you know, because it's just an advantage, you know, off a left-handed pitcher and a right-handed pitcher, but uh, I'd say more power left-handed than right-handed. The Mariners' third highest ranked prospect had 23 homers last year. The 21-year-old leadoff hitter from Marino Valley homered 10 times for the Mavs last season. Well, I was just looking for a fastball inside because they've been counting me in all night. And so I was just looking for a fastball. I got it and I put a good swing on it. Which made you happier, the home run or the 7-2 uh, foot out? Oh man, they're both, they're both just as exciting. Uh, I know home run, you can't explain the feeling, but throwing a guy out of the play is just as, uh, as equal to the adrenaline rush. So I don't know, I can't decide. We hope you decide to turn out and root, root, root for the Mavericks throughout their opening homestand through Wednesday the 20th. The Jet Hawks follow the storm into town someday.